Good morning everyone and welcome to our home for our Mother's Day Together in Worship. If you're not in the UK, the United States and Australia and Germany perhaps, you have to wait until the 8th of May, but we don't mind giving you a preview. Around the country today, families will gather, mothers everywhere will receive phone calls, children will take part in services, cards and flowers will be given, and perhaps even a cup of tea in bed will be made. Mm. <laughs> Home life is very important, and Mother's Day is a celebration of how our own mothers have provided a home for us, and taught us in turn to be mothers. It's also a day for all mothers to be proud of their children. Let's begin with a hymn that celebrates the good things that God has given, including the love of family that surrounds us from our birth. Here are some words that come from the book of Proverbs, chapter 31. I think they are very fitting for Mother's Day because they speak of qualities that we would want to celebrate today. She is strong and graceful, as well as cheerful about the future. Her words are sensible and her advice is thoughtful. She takes good care of her family and is never lazy. Her children praise her 
and with great pride her husband says, There are many good women, but you are the best. Charm can be deceiving, and beauty fades away, but a woman who honours the Lord deserves to be praised. Show her respect, praise her in public for what she has done. Amen. And here's a prayer for Mother's Day. Father God, we worship you today for your love, your goodness and your provision. We celebrate this Mother's Day knowing that mothers have a special place in your purposes. Around the country, children and families and churches will be honouring those who have nurtured them through the years, taught them, encouraged them and loved them. We think of those too who have taken on the role of a mother as they have cared for others. For those who today miss a mother they never had or have lost. For those mothers whose children are far away. We give you thanks today for mothers who by loving us have enriched our lives, who have been selfless and kind, showing something of your love for us all. We pray for mothers who care for families in difficult situations, whether through lack or in dangerous places, or in unsafe situations. Be the answer to their needs. So thank you, Lord, today for the gift of marriage and family life, the bedrock of society, and the gifts that you have given by which our loves might be flourished. We pray for our families, our children, husbands, wives, and especially mothers on this special day. In Jesus' name, Amen. On this Mother's Day, we pause to remember, to picture in our minds mothers who we cherish in our memories. Their faces come to mind, we hear their voices, see their smile, feel again their loving embrace. In these moments, dear Father, we thank you for our mums who are in heaven, for their love, their advice, their protection, for everything they did during our childhood and into our adult years. Lord, we miss them. We still love them, and we are so grateful for everything they were to us. Thank you, Lord, for our mothers. Amen. A feature of many Mother's Day services is the singing of children. Well, here is the Birmingham Citadel Singing Company with a song that will bless us all.
On this Mother's Day, you may have received a card, you may have given or sent a card. Many will, of course, have taken moments to remember. Perhaps a precious photograph becomes a focal point today. Looking at cards, many of us will not simply choose one for the flowers on the front, but for the verse inside. Some will be lovely words, some will be a little too sentimental, and if you buy a cheap card, it might just say, Happy Mother's Day, and you must make up your own greeting. On Mother's Day you get all kinds of familiar sayings, you get them on other occasions too. You're closer to God in a garden than anywhere else on earth. Hmm, not sure. What about, a baby is God's opinion that the world should go on? An American poet wrote that one. Well, children are a sign of new life and hope for the future, certainly. And the Bible does say that children are heritage, a gift from the Lord. But what about this one? God couldn't be everywhere, so he created mothers. Now, what son is going to disagree with that? What daughter is going to deny it? I could disagree with it and introduce the doctrine of divine omnipresence and try to show that God is indeed everywhere, that his presence fills the world, and that we can't escape his spirit and all of that. And I think we know that anyway. But it kind of misses the point of the quote. First of all, that quote says to me that God who created us, who formed us in the womb, who knows all about us, wants us to be loved. In recent months, with the birth of our first grandson, we've seen again the love of a mother for her baby, and how a father shares that love too. The attention that is given, the affection that enfolds the baby, every provision that is made, not simply out of practicality of keeping the baby alive, but out of selfless love. God, who is love, gives a good mother that quality of love for her child. God couldn't be everywhere, but he created mothers. That might also suggest that as we look at our mothers, our grandmothers, perhaps our aunts, or other women who cared for us, as we look back on our memories of those who were loving and protective of us, we see something of God in them. It doesn't mean that mum is God's representative here on earth, but if love is of God, as the Bible says, then that nurturing presence in our young lives and into adulthood too reflects that. The love a mother has, a parent has, indeed the love of spouses, of friends, all reminds us that we, made in the image of God, are inspired by his loving nature and purpose. Of course, we as sinners reflect that love imperfectly. It sometimes isn't what it should be. But the truth is, we love because he first loved us. As Christians, we believe that God has revealed himself as our Father. The Bible is quite clear about that. A Father who has created us, who loves us, who has redeemed us through Jesus. Is God our mother too? Well, no, not in the same way. There is no mother God in the same way that we say Father God, but there is something motherly, can I say that, about God's nature. There must be, because that's where our own mothers get their nurturing qualities from. There is something of a mother's heart in our God. Not long ago in Together in Worship, I spoke about God like a mother bird gathering her young beneath her feathers. Jesus himself spoke about wanting to gather Jerusalem like that for their protection. There's a lovely thought in the Old Testament book of Deuteronomy. Moses is reciting the words before all the people of Israel and he says to them, Is God not your father, your creator, who made you and formed you? But then he goes on to say, But you forgot the God who gave you birth. To me, that reflects the intimacy of a mother and her child, both born and unborn. There's something a man could never understand, never experience. And that's the physical bond they have with a child that began with conception, is confirmed at the physical birth and then strengthened through the nurturing years. A father can share in that nurture, but there is something deeper about a mother's experience. And I believe within God himself that he has that experience of love that is echoed in a mother's intimacy with her child. Psalm 139, with these well-known words, puts it like this. You created every part of me. 
you put me together in my mother's womb. When my bones were being formed, carefully put together in my mother's womb, when I was growing there in secret, you knew I was there. You saw me before I was born. That's a mother's experience. To know her child like that. It's God's experience of you and me too. And finally, what does God in his motherly nature feel about us today? Well, there might be times when we feel alone, neglected, even unloved. It's the world we live in today, of course. But this is what God says to his people. Can a mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she has born? Though she may forget, I will not forget you. God is indeed like a mother to us, in his deep knowledge of us, in his constant love, his faithful provision and his everlasting care. Thank you for joining us for this Mother's Day together in worship. Wherever you are today, whether you have family with you or even if you are by yourself today, we pray that God will bless you and be with you. We'll see you next week for another Together in Worship. May grace, peace and heaven's richest blessing be yours. Amen. Amen.